Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. This video is all about fixing your USB drive SDD or SSD in which you got the error location is not available a device which does not exist was specified. So without wasting time let's go ahead and fix out the issue. In basic step first of all unplug your USB drive or your hard disk and then change the USB port. Sometimes USB port 2.0 or 3.0 is the main cause of this particular error. So make sure you switch or try to change the port of your USB or SDD. Now if this doesn't work out, let's proceed with the second step. Open this PC, right click on your problematic drive and choose the option properties. Here click on the security tab and make sure you have provided the full control over here. To provide the full control, you need to click on this edit option and then check mark the icon full control then hit apply and then ok. These two are the basic steps that you should perform to fix out a device which does not exist was specified. Now if both method does not work out let us proceed to the advanced steps. Right click onto your start menu and choose the option disk management. First of all click on the action tab and choose the option rescan disk. Now again try to check your hard disk is started to work or not. If it is still giving you the error in next step you need to right click on your disk. At my end it is disk 2 so I will right click on it and choose the option change device driver and path. Here you need to click on the option change and here you need to change the letter of your drive. Choose the letter which never used by you. For example, I will choose the letter Z. Hit the OK button. After that hit the X button and try to check if the error of device which does not exist was specified is exist or not. However, if it is still there again in this computer management disk management right click and choose the option properties over here. Click on the driver tab and choose the option uninstall device. This will uninstall the device driver of a USB drive or SSD drive. Now once drivers are uninstalled you can see the drive is not showing in disk management. Now unplug the drive. Once unplugged wait for 10 to 15 seconds and again plug it into your system. Now as soon as you plugged it the drivers of this particular SSD or HDD will be installed automatically. Once they are installed go ahead and try to check by opening your disk PC and your disk drive is working out or not. Now even disk management failed to work out. Click on the start menu type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Now here you need to type a command which is check disk space the letter of your drive. At my end the letter of my drive is letter Z. So I will type here Z space slash X space slash R and space slash F and then hit the enter key. Now fair, wait for it. It will completely scan your disk and if any problem is found it will be automatically rectified. You can see the scan is completed and no problems are found. So if any problems are found they will be automatically fixed using this particular command. Now if all these methods does not work out and you still encountered the error a device which does not exist was specified then you need to take help of a third party tool and I suggest you is mini tool partition wizard. Double click to open this tool by installing it in your system. This is totally free of cost I will share the link of this tool in the description of this video so that you can directly click on this download option to install in your system. Once it is installed all the drives that are attached to your system will be shown right over here. You need to choose the problematic drive and right click on it. 
here you need to click on the option survey test. Now, click on the option start now. We are doing this surface test to make sure that there are not any bad sectors or read error in your USB drive which is making you the error device which does not exist was specified. Now, once test is complete, you can see that no errors are found. If at your end, if there are any read error founds, it will be reflect with a red square. So, in order to fix that particular issue, all you can do is to recover your data. Yes, friends, your disk will not work, but you can recover your data completely using the same mini tool partition wizard. You need to click on the disk, scroll down and choose the option data recovery. This will search for all the data present in your hard disk and then recover all the data without any kind of error. However, in order to recover your data, this software is paid. So, if your SDD, SSD or USB drive is really important to you, the data is really important, then make sure you need to purchase this particular software in order to recover all your data. And the lastly, you can try is to right click on this option and choose the option delete all partitions. Make sure you select the correct drive else it will totally format your hard disk. Hit the yes button, sometimes simply deleting all the partitions fix out your issue. Now click on the apply button to proceed deleting all the partitions of your USB drive. Now in, once it is done, it will start to showing unallocated device. Again right click on this unallocated device this time and choose the option create. File system make it NTFS as it is then click on the OK button to create partition in your hard disk, SDD or USB drive. Once the partition is created, hit apply button to proceed with the instructions. So, the partition is successfully completed. This time close it and again open your this PC and try to open your USB drive or SSD drive and try to check the problem of a device which does not exist was specified is resolved or not. Now if all the method fails, the last option, the last hope you have is to update your BIOS by going to your manufacturer website. So this is all about it friends. This is how you can fix a device which not, does not exist was specified or you can even recover your data if the error still persists as shown to you in this particular video. If you are new to this channel and you like this video, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to keep watching my videos. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.